Hey everyone, welcome back. Today, I'm back at Mare Island in Vallejo, California, one of the oldest shipyards on the West Coast. And today they had the cemetery open. So I thought it'd be neat to walk around the old Mare Island Cemetery. Last time I was here, everything was closed and I saw some ladies at the gate and they're trying to get a bunch of petition sign to open the space up to make it more available to the public. It's um, mareislandreserve.org if you want to go to the website and sign a petition to get this land open up. Anyway, let's go check out the cemetery at Mare Island Naval Shipyard in Vallejo, California. Oh, here we are. Got some nice new flags there. Gate is old style here. Looks like they keep good care for it. And I imagine all these uh, gravestones are for fallen war um, servicemen or heroes. Philip Rack, it doesn't say. It's interesting that it doesn't say their life span. This one says uh, 19 or 1918 November 9th, but a lot of them don't have a date on them. I wonder if this is um, I don't know. I'm not gonna speculate. Does anybody know why there's no date on these? Is it possibly they don't know the individuals? There's some larger uh, pieces here. There's one here. In memory of William Francis Hill, CGM, who lost his life in the line of duty December 11th, 1913. So this is definitely some history in this graveyard. Nineteen seventeen it looks like. Let's see about this other one over here. Eighteen ninety-eight to nineteen seventeen. Wow, he was only nineteen years old. That's a pretty impressive headstone, considering it's been here for a hundred and four years. And then the other ones, like again, they don't have their dates; they just have their names. James Ryan, native of Washington, D.C., 1860 to 1913. Well, he had a bit, little better um, retired, so he lived for 53 years. Here rests, here rests a woodman of the world. This one is so weathered, I can't read anything on it anymore. <clears throat> you know, walking around a cemetery is normally a little eerie, but this is, you know, it's not at nighttime, so not too eerie. This guy's name is Charles White. Again, the dates are just, there are some dates, but the weather has taken them. That's a fancy headstone. Another weathered one. <coughs> 
Abram Johnson, seaman, 1848 to 1903. Now this one, uh, Medal of Honor. So someone has brought these, um, left pennies by the grave. I guess that's tribute. You got this flag, United States Marine Corps. Someone left him a Sierra Nevada. You know, I don't drink beer, but when I do, um, that's one of my favorite kind. So, that's pretty cool that people are still coming out here after all this time. This is interesting. It's a round piece of granite. Thomas Gilman, 1859 and 1903, erected by his shipmates in Wyoming. This one's weathered. A lot of 1800 people here. This one's 1859 and 1904. And I bet the ones up at the top of the hill are even older. This one's being propped up by a stick. It's nice to see that the people are still maintaining these and giving them energy, respecting them. And there's a plot there, but it's there's no headstone, nothing. So I couldn't even tell you what that one is about. Nineteen, eighteen, fifty-seven, and nineteen forty-one. And this guy had his own little fenced-in area. Medical inspector David Oldham Lewis, United States Navy, England, nineteen, eighteen, fifty-one, Honolulu, nineteen o five. He must have been a very prestigious man to have that kind of a headstone. It's another uh, gentleman died in 1918. Now what's this? This looks more modern. Catherine L. Smith and William L. Smith. So William died um, before his wife in 1976. And Catherine died in 1979. They both had long lives. I was just about to make a comment. I don't see many women uh, graves here. Nice overview here. Off in the distance is an old paddle boat ferry. But this Mare Island is um, pretty bizarre. It's a huge military facility that's been basically closed 90% of it. They're slowly refurbishing it and making businesses here, some breweries and things. Class of 1905. Well, I can say one thing. These granite pieces, if you want to be... Have, when you pass away, if you want people to remember you, 
Get a granite headstone. They don't wear out. <clears throat> William Halford. Probably not related to Rob Halford of Judas Priest. And this is really impressive here. There's three people in this one. It's a big piece of granite. There's a one here from 1920. Looks like they come and raise this flag and take it down every night because that looks like a flag that's not been up for a long, long time. All right, we got some other ones that are. I guess I'll go up here and see. We got benches here. See what the bench view is like. And the American flag. It's actually a nice view these uh, these spirits or people have up here. I think I told you before in one of my videos that my wife grandfather worked here building nuclear submarines at Mare Island and he grew up in a town called Benicia which is very close it's like 10 miles from here just an interesting fun fact his name was Lyman and he lived till the age of 91 I believe so he had a good life too couple more here. Assistant paymaster. And these are some heavy duty ones here. Virginia Oritz and Daniel wife of Daniel Turner died in 1887 at the age of 28. That's too young. You know, back then people died of the easiest things if you got sick. Easiest things nowadays, you just go to the doctor and take some penicillin for it. There's an old one too. And then William Turner, he died in 1890. But you look at these, uh, I don't know what you call these flat ones. They're not gravestones or something fancy or not, but the condition of them is amazing. If you think of all the rain and dust and dirt and storms over the years. Gentleman's name is Irwin. This one's 1865. You can barely read it. I'm being a little aware of rattlesnakes. It's rattlesnake season. So I'm walking slow and keeping my eye out for rattlesnakes because this is prime rattlesnake country right here. Hot, dry. I have seen, um, I have seen five rattlesnakes in my life and they were on Mount Tamalpais, which I did a video of, top of Mount Tam. One time my dog was running towards it and it definitely would have died if it got bit. It's we yelled at it and it stopped at the last minute and out of striking distance because we were way too far away um, from to be able to help him. 
Another time my buddy was getting a bicycle off his bike rack and I, he, right behind him was a rattlesnake coiled up ready to bite him in the leg. And a few other, the other times were just I was hiking and saw him on trails. Check this one out. It's real low to the ground. It's a nice one though. Look at this, I think it's a hawk feather. That's pretty awesome. Either a golden eagle or a hawk, because we do have eagles now back in the Bay Area. Some more. Huh, they just have blue stones on them. I don't know what the significance of the blue crystals are. But these gentlemen have been laying to rest a long time. With your wife. It says a war of 1812. U.S. real daughter. And these stones are set in a spiral. War of 1812. Veteran. War of 1812. Daughter of Francis Scott Key. And then they got these stones all over here too. Maybe I'll make a star. There's my makeshift star. Anna Arnold Key, wife of Daniel Turner, died March 1884. You think about these people's lives back then. We got all this technology and cars and cell phones and movies. None of that stuff was around back then. Life was tough. Sometimes I feel like we need to get back to those days, back to the human relationships of life instead of having relationships with our cell phones. These have little tiny ones, I bet they're kids. All right, let's see what other interesting headstones we can look at. I'm not gonna look at every single one of these things. This one's interesting, it's round. This one looks like it represents five people in one, maybe a whole family. It says, in memory of the dead of U.S. Maryland. It must be a ship. It's sunk or something. Hard to say. <sighs> Leroy Webster. Captain, U.S. Marine Corps. Son of Captain... J.A. Webster died in 1899. And this one says Big Brother. It's an interesting one. This one's got a crack in it. It's like someone worked on it to refurbish it. It's 
another big tall old one gone home U.S. Pensacola died in 1877, age 26. Oh, it's too young to die, you know what? It was too young to die. Louis A. Black died in 1874. This was erected by his shipmates. Joseph Wilson, 1889. I think this graveyard would be a little eerie walking around here at night time, right? Not a lot out here. Some of these are, there's one in the center I'll go to in a minute. That's the most impressive one. Marine Corps, 1895. So this is the one here. A gunner for the U.S. Navy. This is represents one, two, three, four, five individuals. It's possible they died all at the same time. Erected by officers and men of the U.S. Boston, USS Boston, in the memory of the shipmates who were killed at Meyer Island on. June 13th, 1892. If they were killed in Maryland, it was probably some kind of an industrial accident. Master at Arms, U.S. Navy. Well, it's a sizable. They got this big eucalyptus tree in the center, too. And some of these, I need some help. There's some TLC, this one here. Fell off its pedestal. And this one, it snapped, but those things are heavy, so. Oh, interesting, these are Russian. Russian sailor, 1863, another Russian sailor. And another Russian. Another Russian, another Russian there. And this one's really weathered here. Black on it. Another Russian. It's like this hill slide has started to slide a little bit. 
This one's got a support on the face of it. So you can't read it anymore. Wilhelm Pope, born in Hanover, Germany, died 1884, U.S. Ranger. So here is a drafted plan for the grave sites. They're all divided into sections. And this is the latest correction was corrected and it looks like 1969. And the interesting thing about it all is um, they have a mailbox. Oh, there's something in here. Naval Cemetery Index to Graves. Oh, cool. These guys don't mess around. You can look at the map and open the box and look at the directory. Just slap a mosquito on my leg. Sucking my blood. Got these nice roses here too. Well, I hope you um, enjoy that tour of the Mare Island Cemetery. A lot of um, interesting gravestones. Um, it's not a bad cemetery. They got, you know, the, the, the souls or the graves or whatever you want to say. Have a peaceful place to rest and a nice view. So, uh, thanks for watching. If you enjoy what I'm doing, um, give me subscribe to my channel, hit that bell notification, give me a comment or two. If you know anything more about the cemetery, let me know. I just um, happened upon it and found it was open, so I wanted to do a quick video. Thanks for coming along today. All right.